Morning everyone, I hope you're keeping well. You're gonna have to bear with us today. I'm just dressed, I ain't doing it, get ready. I'm freezing. Like, ah, uh, horrible. I can't wait to get out, get moving. I've got on, these are Sheen. I just changed my knickers over. The other day I had a different pair on and these are a bit more tummy tucking. So I've got my Sheen on. These are an extra large. They've just they've got like a, um, a What's the word? They've got like a seam down the front. I've stuck them on with some me Uggs. Get my feet nice and warm. I'm going to put some socks on and all maybe because I'm going to be hiding them with that. This here is Sheen. It's an XXL. And I love it. Love how baggy. Thank you, thank you. I'm not in the mood to be tightened in and uncomfortable. I've got a bit of a bad tummy. I don't feel so hot. I don't know what it is. I'm just not feeling hot. I think it might be a touch of anxiety. There's so much happening. Me and Martin were packing, packing my boxes last night, ready for the move. And this is why the room's a mess. Um, I've left some bits out, which I know I'm going to be wearing for videos with you. But, like, we literally don't have long, so a lot of the stuff's been packed away. Can you see any steam? Because I feel like the steam coming out of us. I should put the heating on, shouldn't I? I don't know what it is, but I was like, I shouldn't put the heating on until Martin can enjoy it with us. So I don't put it on during the day. I'll be like freezing, waiting, which is stupid. It's just a bit like, yeah. Anyway, right, so I've got this on. You could leave it out. Okay, I'm going to go right to the back so people on YouTube can see. You can leave it out or this is what I'm going to do. I'm tucking it in just a bit though. Just a bit. There we go. It's my outfit for today. Bad boys. Only because I've got half my stuff again, like I said, it's all just shoved away in boxes. Like you want to see the passage, can it move? And I tripped over one last night going to the toilet. I'd forgotten how high I would put them. Um this will be a lush little bag. But it, only if I wasn't wearing a coat. Do you know what I mean? You know, if I was just hanging out and I was, you know, it's a little bit warmer. Cute. This is new look. But because I'm going to be walking, I'm just going to use my next bag. Like it's going to be on a coat, maybe. Do you know what I mean? Oh, I'm really feeling rotten. I don't know what's up with this today. I've decided as well, so uh, last night, uh, you know the coat that I tried yesterday, it was, it's a huge coat, it's super dry, I love it, I've got it for this time, I love a big coat for this time of year, I just love it, because you can go anywhere, you can sit out in the cold, it's like you're sitting in a duvet, so I got this coat, I tried it yesterday for you, from super dry, I love it, and open it looks okay i mean it fits it, it fits it's just not it's tight it's very tight it's a size 8 uk I, I got it when i was a lot smaller obviously but it opens up and i'm just tempted to go and wear it now yeah last night we went for a walk with the dog and i put it on and i said to martin do i look all right i know i'm a bit like it's time to shove it he's like minx you look absolutely fine don't worry about it we'll get there and so i thought right i'm gonna put it on and so i put it on zipped it up and yes i looked like a michelin man but i just felt like i felt loved and comfy and didn't care so much but i've got really bad tummy today and i don't know if i want to be putting this on there's another one i'll show you it's on the bed i've left it out because i think it could be like a runner up for winter i'm not buying another one i nearly did you know because i would love a big one like this but in burgundy but a big one so i can just wear it not worry i'm sick of being uncomfortable I've got nothing that fits at the moment. Like, I'm not joking. It's all just so not fitting. This fits up, but it just looks a bit... Just not so hot. And it, obviously, if you're wearing something woolly underneath it, you know you add an extra material. I mean, it does up, you know. I might just put this on and put a, bit, a big bag on. I don't know what's up with my tummy. I don't feel like this usually is abandoned, it's coming and going like 
my scrapey pins. I hope it is anxiety. I don't want to have something. Anyway, there we go. I put, I'm tempted to just do that. Just be comfy, you know. I'm very tempted because it is warm. Or do I? Or do I put this one on? So this is the Timu one. I've had it quite a while. I'll show you it. I've had it for, oh, at least a year. I got it last year and I took it up to Scotland with us for my birthday, which is in December. So it got us through the winter and believe me, it was lovely. We were on a lock with it and it, I felt dead warm. I had to have a scarf with it, but I suppose you do with any of them. And it's this one here. It's obviously, I can fit it, but it's, it's not like how it used to be. But I do like it. And I could keep it open. Couldn't I? These are still selling, by the way. They're on Timu and Sheen. And I do think they're very cute. I think it's on the, the hood and all, look. Just going to see if it does up. It will do up with a t-shirt underneath, but you need more than a t-shirt in this weather. So I really need something quite baggy. I'm so tempted to buy a great big, like going Asda George or something and have a look for a great big baggy puff out coat just to tide us through the winter. I don't think I'm going to lose that much weight. And it's January's coming, I'm going to be freezing. Do you think I should hold on and just wear this? Be honest. Or would you be like, no, get something a bigger so you're comfy. I just don't know what to do. Be honest with us. I appreciate your honesty. I really do. What do you think I should do? Should I just squish into these for now? Or do I get something that's cheaper and big and baggy so I can get really, really comfy just until the winter's over? And then I can donate it to a charity shop if I manage to get me weighed down a little. Honestly, don't know what to do. I could keep it open and put like a scarf on. I did have a scarf here, but I think I might have put it in the box. Yeah, I think I've put it in the box, have I? Have I put it away? Might have done. I did get something out for you, which I was going to show you. This is ages ago. Remember this off the Asda George? Asda George do some lovely jumpers. This is like a wintery jumper. That would go lovely, wouldn't it? Not with this coat, but something warm. So considering I've not gotten ready with you, I'm, you know, um, this is me for a day because I need to be warm and I just don't feel so hot. I was going to do a makeup look, but please excuse us. I'm not really feeling it. I've got so much to do today, and I've got to, I've got to go out and I've got to come back and do some boxing, um, some packing, um. I'm going to just stick a little bit on, but I'm not going to go all out. I really wanted to do something for you. This is my plan, which I'm going to keep. But I've seen these blues. I wanted to do something with that. Um, and do like a silver icy. Sorry, I'm not even showing everyone. Like a, a, like a blue icy. I think there might be one in here as well. I want to do like an icy. There we go. See, I want to do something like that with it being cold and put a pop of silver on which i still might do i'll see how i feel later and i might sit down on my chair because <laughs> someone mentioned they like the sitting videos for makeups i don't blame you i enjoy it too it was the camera angles but i think i've cracked it so i might do that later would you like something like that later would you come would you come back and watch a video later on if i'm feeling it with an icy like a, a nice i don't know i'll think so i'm gonna do some blues blues but until then I'm going to just quickly stick something very quick and natural on. So I'm doing like an all-in-one video for you this morning, no two separate ones. He's yet for me and all this morning because I feel like I'm not replying to everyone and it's getting us down, but I've got so much on. So thank you to those that understand and, and you just don't mind. And I really, really appreciate it. It's just it's getting quite hard at the minute because... The channel is growing like huge. Let's get this up here so it's not like the YouTube. Yeah, the channel is growing just hugely, um, which is amazing. But I, I, I find it hard to keep up your comments sometimes. So I'm using um, 
my vitamin E. I've done my whole glycolic acid. It's in the bathroom. The glycolic acid liquid gold, um, alpha H stuff. I'll stick a, I'll stick my code underneath the video for you if you want to get any of this. This stuff's lovely. I always put too much on. You don't need a lot. It's the vitamin E serum with one percent ceramide complex. Oh, been using this a lot lately actually instead of the um super drug stuff. But I've got loads of the super drug stuff, so I'm gonna go through it. Oh, beautiful. This is what I usually use. I've still got some left. I keep getting like belly pat, like pains in my tummy. Mm, hope I haven't got a bug. I'm just going to drink plenty of chamomile tea and get comfy. <sighs> okay. Let's go. Let's stick a bit of this on. Be Perfect Perfection Primer. I'm using this because it's the tone of the top. And I'm not putting foundation on today. I'm literally just putting this on. The, the look. It's beautiful. It's like butter. Um, I love it. Sometimes, sometimes I'll just put this on. I'll put my bronzer on top. I'll put my blush, my highlight. I don't bother with foundation a lot of the time. It depends what look I'm going for. Some of the looks I've been doing lately, I've loved putting the foundation on because I like doing the full lot and then the eye primer and all that. But just today, I'm not going to bother. I took all my makeup off last night. I was doing my treatment. Like I said, my glycolic acid treatment, the uh, Alpha H. And I put my liquid, I think it's um, gold haze, the, the oil on. That's why the sides are a bit greasy, but it's not too bad. So I went to bed with that on. Take all the makeup off with me, but I melt the balm. Oh, it's just lush. Do for like super pampered. Now, where is my makeup towel? I could do with it. Where is it? Got that much stuff in here. At the moment, moving stuff around. I can't find it, can I? Oh, there it is. It's on the floor. Okay. Ooh. Okay. I'm going to do the Glossier Mint Balm dot com. Just to get that on there for now while I'm busy. It's lovely. And then for my cheeks, did we use that? We didn't. I'm going to try this. I haven't used it yet. It's the e.l.f. one. I can't find me. Um, I can't find me liquid one for me. Um, me be perfect one. I'll tell you what I have found though just now. Which I'm going to. Oh, conspiracy. Put a bit of that on the back because that's got a bit of something in Right, okay, I'm using a bit of this. I'm using the e.l.f. That's what I wanted. I've been looking for this. I, I, everything's moved. It's driving us nuts. Oh, that on. Just for some highlights. It's got like a bit of a glow to it look. Right. Lid back on that. So I'm going with the cheek. So this is the e.l.f. one. And I can't even work out what it says. Turns and cards. I think that's what, oh. oh my god, I can't see. I need glasses. <laughs> Terrible. I'm not going to put any bronzer on today. No. I'm doing my tanning video soon, so stay tuned for that. Get nice and tanned for Christmas. I don't know where I'm going to be. Well, I, I know. I think we're going to be at the new place, I think. I don't, I really don't know, actually. I really don't know what's happening. We'll see. But I'll let you all know. Okay. I'm going to put a little bit of this on. I'm really dabbing this one out though. Oh, hang on. <laughs> there we go. See, it's what I wanted. A 
wipe off get some mascara on whoa let's try this lipstick shall we innocent is that the right color is it i don't know if it that might actually let's try it so this is the nars innocent i did want to use this i want to show you it. it's lush doesn't look much i know it sounds silly but i don't like the look of that i wouldn't have gone for it but i've tried it and oh beautiful oh that's nice nice and light i think sometimes we're guilty of putting it on my hand and going mm. it's not until you put it on your lips because your lips are a different color it's the same with foundation we'll put it on the back of our hand which is not the same as our face so we'll miss out don't we plus i've got that treatment on underneath my skin on my lips it's just helping that not be so in your face because i feel like i'm wearing quite a natural color tone anyway today now for my eyes i'm gonna quickly put a little bit of this on this is p louise and it's hooked up look at it just a wash of color you do not need a lot of this stuff like seriously watch look there's me saying i'm not doing a makeup look you know what i mean like i'm not sitting there forever doing it i really do not want a lot so that should be fine i've got no mirror i'm just like kind of going for it and then mascara where have i put it i've put it in there hmm. Was in front of us? I hate it when they're there and I can't even see them. Is it in here again? Yeah, I'll just use that one then. Ah, oh, there it is. Use me intensify and then we'll use our brow. Be perfect, I've got a brow glue as well. But I'm trying to swap up brands for you so it's not all the same constantly. So use me code, be perfect. Sorry, it's Lauren Look Be Perfect in capitals. No, it's not. It's Lauren Look BP. Oh dear me! Look at the look at that mascara. Isn't it lush? This is the Intensify. I don't know if it's in. I think it might be separate or it's in a gift set. But have a look on the website BePerfectCosmetics.com, and don't forget use me code is up to twenty percent off. And I think with Christmas coming, things like that's handy, getting massive discounts, isn't it? A lot of people are asking about the Sheen and the Sheen and the Timu discount codes. The reason I haven't put them up is sometimes I don't get them in time for the video I show up on Facebook because their YouTube videos are not meant to be going on Facebook. I put them on anyway because I love sharing stuff with you. So I don't get the codes in time, right? And then when I do, it turns out that they're for new app users only for Sheen and Timu so it's like and I've asked them if we can have something for everybody but it's not something they do at the moment so that's why it's a shame I'd love to give you like a special code that you could have all the time but I don't think we do it like that yet I'll keep asking though I promise you so this is the Vit C brow gel and it's um collection and you know what you know and you just don't want anything on but you want to get them smart yeah Someone asked if I get my eyebrows done. I don't. I just do them myself. And I'm going to be very honest with you here. And don't ever do this. I shave mine so many times. Like, so I'll pluck them. I pluck them. And then every now and again, I haven't got the time to pluck. And some things come through. And then you shouldn't do this. But I've got a tiny little thin lady razor. And I just shave. And then I'll pluck again eventually. So sometimes you'll see like little black bits here. It's because I've like shaved it. And I shouldn't. So don't copy. That's what I do with mine. I don't ever get them done. I should do. I just feel like I, I haven't got time. I want to get my nails done and all, but then I feel like I haven't got time. And I've got to go. I've got some bits and pieces coming through here. So I get laser hair removal because I've got polycystic ovaries. Um, you don't have to have polycystic ovaries to have hair. A lot of girls have got it, and a lot of, of and also a lot of transgender people are getting it done to like remove like excess hair. So it's a huge thing. I don't ever want anyone to feel embarrassed about it, but I know growing up I did, and this is why I'm saying this. 
because I remember feeling so hideous about it. And it's completely natural. There's nothing you can do about it. It's not that you've asked for it. Um, you've just, sometimes people have got more sensitive hair follicles than others and they will grow quicker, they'll grow faster, they'll grow dark. Um, you've got your peach, peach fluff and then you've got different kinds of hair. I don't understand it all. I don't understand the cycles. I just know laser hair removals work for me twice now it will come back for me because i've got a hormonal disorder causing it if you haven't then it should go works better on light skin dark hair it doesn't work as well on light hair and dark skin this is what i think i've read um but i'm a good candidate because i've got the fair skin and really dark hair and i've had it a few times now and i get like a bit here now and again and i feel it like coming through again i'm like ugh. And I remember a really bad time. They came through really badly when I was when my mum had just passed, and I was having to go and get it done then. And I was like, I wish things would just bugger off. I just haven't got the headspace to be dealing with this right now. But you have to. You have. You know. You you have to, or you don't. It's up to you. But I just think sometimes if you get rid of it by right, plucking or shaving, sometimes especially. If, if you've got a hormone disorder i think the more time you move the hair and muck about with it you can kind of stimulate the growth i might be wrong i don't understand like i said i'm not into hair and i don't know the ins and outs of it so i'm sure if someone else understands about it all they'll chime in so please do but my understanding of it is i feel like you can sometimes stimulate the growth by mucking about so the laser hair removal is what i get it works great it's quite expensive. I think there should be help for people who've got polycystic or hormone disorders, but there's not. Not as far as I know. Definitely not. I've asked my GP and there's nothing they can do. There's a cream they can give you called sp uh, Spironolactone. I was at the medication. There's a cream they can give you. It's meant to slow it down, but I didn't find it worked very well. And I ended up with a rash, so I just go and get it taken off and then I get like a few months of peace. And then I'll see them coming through again and I'll pluck. But yeah, I've got like three or four coming through now. And I'm like, I just want you gone. I've had enough. But I don't want anyone to feel embarrassed. Please get rid of that shame. Because I had it and it was horrible. And it's really something that a lot of people a lot of people get. And then you talk to a lot of girls and boys. A lot of them remove it. They do. They just don't openly talk about it. And I'm going to tell you so you don't feel so bad about it. I get rid of it and a lot of people that I know literally shave their face on the morning in the shower. There's loads of people I've spoke to who do that now, really. So please don't feel bad about it. Okay, I'm going to go now. I'm going to go and get... I'm going to try and get some stuff done and then I'm going to come home, strap a hot water bottle to us and get packing because we've got loads to do. But I hope you have a lovely day. If I feel up to it later, I'll do a makeup look with you or I'll do some editing because I've got some filming that I need to put together for you. So I've been shopping. I haven't bought anything. Or well, have I? I'm going to make this guess. I haven't. No, it's fine. But I've shown you around the shops at what's out there right now. Now, I hope you enjoy those clips. Let us know. See you all in a bit. Zoom, zoom.